Hello, in this video you'll see the design of an articulation key switch selector with Hexler Touch OSC. I created a generic template that can easily be modified to control key switches for sample libraries and virtual instruments when recording in a DAW. This video is about the development of an articulation key switch selector for sample libraries and virtual instruments using the Hexler Touch OSC application. A generic key switch template design and scripts are presented in detail. Then three application examples are shown and the functionality is tested in Logic Pro and Cubase. The Touch OSC project file is available for my patrons. The use case is the selection of sample library articulations through key switches. Here you see two examples, a string library with 18 articulations that are linked to a number of key switches in the lower part of the keyboard. The guitar instrument on the right has a set of playing techniques, triggered by low MIDI key numbers and sound effects in the upper keyboard range. So this is a case of non-consecutive MIDI key numbers. Previously, I used to design this type of MIDI controllers with the Lemur app. I presented the scripting approach to articulation key switch selection in detail in a 2017 video. However, since there seems to be no further Lemur app development, I was keen to discover the new version of the Hexler Touch OSC software, released in 2021. This app runs on all platform types and has a user-friendly editor. Multiple instances may run on desktop and mobile devices, sending all sorts of messages. The online manual I find very weak and hard to use. It could certainly do with more examples instead of me reverse engineering the scripts in the example controllers that come with the software. On the other hand, Hexler support has answered my questions quickly and I could even discover one of my feature requests in the regular updates. Let's discuss my approach to the articulation selector design using a radio button element. You'll first see the GUI and controller project structure for the generic design. The user interface is shown on the left, with the articulation list. The two continuous controller faders will not be discussed here. The Touch OSC app displays the document tree, all elements used in the controller design. A structured representation of the articulation key switcher is shown in diagram in the top right. The generic template is implemented as an element group for each individual sample library. The main selector element is the radio button. A text box at the top is used for displaying sample library information. Whereas Lemur uses a text string attribute in the radio button, Touch OSC does not have that option. Instead, we must use an overlay with a set of 16 text labels. The generic template implementation involves a set of scripts. At the group level, there's a short script shown here in the Touch OSC editor. Let's have a closer look. The green lines are comments. The script starts with the function init, which is executed when the GUI element is loaded. The group element will be visible and we define the group geometry as a rectangular box with x, y origin position plus width and height. If you prefer manually dragging the group element in the interface, turn this line into a comment or deactivate the script. The title text box script is mainly about defining the geometry and look. Also this script is executed as an initialization step. Again we see the geometry definition, the box outline and text properties. The last line defines the text string in the box, that has room for three lines. And here is the main element script for the radio button. It is a longer script that may be subdivided into three sections. A header with definitions, the initialization function and a function that handles user interaction. We'll look at these sections in detail, starting with the header. Here you see the definition of the MIDI note numbers for the current sample library. The generic template has a consecutive series of 16 note numbers starting with 12. Note that this setup allows non-consecutive number series. The next line sets the MIDI channel for the 16 articulations. In most cases these will all be channel 1, but again my setup allows flexibility. This is the array with the 16 articulation names. I prefer to use the string of MIDI pitch and the description, as this allows me to quickly see the appropriate key label on the iPad when working in the DAW. The next array lists the 16 text label elements from the document tree. 
The script closes with text label geometry and color definitions. And here is an important consequence. You only have to change the radio button script header for each individual sample library. The rest of the script is really generic. Part 2 is the initialization function, executed when loading this selector file. It sets a radio button properties such as geometry and color. Then we loop over the number of articulations and create the key switch text label layout. You may have noticed the additional label at the last, the bottom step of the radio button. This is used as the initially selected articulation number and will be updated as the user clicks articulation steps. In part 3, the function onValueChanged handles user interaction with the radio button. The key argument is twofold. When the user presses a different radio button step, the value of x is changed and contains the index number in the articulation array. This triggers sending a MIDI noton message for the relevant key switch. The other key is the value of the touch parameter. Releasing the radio button means that the boolean touch value is false and will trigger the MIDI note off message for the currently selected radio button step. This combination of MIDI messages allows for short and long duration presses. Two remarks. In the Lemur controller I used global variables for handling the currently and previously pressed button. In touch OSC there is no such thing but it has the equivalent enumerations mechanism. I tested that approach but my implementation does not need the value field type. The disadvantage of the radio button approach is that it cannot cope with repeatedly pressing the same radio button step. The Touch OSC application has debugging tools for script testing. Also there is a most useful message logger at the bottom of the screen. The list of MIDI messages helps verifying correct controller functionality as I will now demonstrate in a short movie. We run the generic selector starting from the default selection the green button at the bottom. As we press a number of radio button steps, the corresponding articulation will be highlighted and the MIDI note on note off message is triggered. Repeatedly pressing step 3 confirms that this case yields a superfluous note off message. I'll now demonstrate the convenient creation of specific sample library articulation selectors. Here's the GUI with the generic template and three examples. I'll show the template modifications in a moment. This file must be transferred to your mobile device where you run the articulation selector. Make sure that the Touch OSC Bridge Daemon is running on your DAW computer and connect the mobile device to this computer. The four groups with articulation lists fit conveniently on a regular iPad display. In case you would like to combine many sample libraries in a single Touch OSC project, organize these as tabs within a pager object. I return to the Spitfire Audio Symphonic Violins use case. The core techniques contact instrument has 18 articulation key switches. Since the generic template consists of 16 articulations, this requires adding two more text label elements in the document tree. Here we see the edits applied to the radio button script header lines. The MIDI note numbers are a series of 18 consecutive steps starting at the lowest key with value 0. All key switches will be transmitted on MIDI channel 1. This is the vector with the 18 articulation descriptions. Over the years I've compiled plain text files for all my sample libraries, so I can copy from these documents and then add the double quotes for each array element. Finally I extend the array of text label references with the two additional elements and done. Editing the header plus a check should take less than 15 minutes. I'll demonstrate the functionality with the selector project on the desktop, as that is easier for screen capturing. Watch the recording of articulation key switches in Logic Pro. A series of violin articulations is selected, including the repeated pressing of the long flautando and short versus long presses. Note how the currently selected articulation number at the bottom is updated. The flute instrument from the same collection has less articulations than the generic template. 
In the Touch OSC editor, we therefore delete the seven last key switch labels from the document tree. Then we edit the radio button script header, starting with the key switch MIDI note number, channel number, and the list of nine articulation names. Leave the references to the 16 label elements as is. Again, that's all. I chose the Amplesound Luthier acoustic guitar instrument as an example, since it has non-consecutive MIDI note numbers to trigger playing techniques on the left and sound effects on the right in the keyboard high register. This is also obvious from the selector interface that shows three articulation groups from top to bottom. The total is 17 and thus we must add one more text label object in the document tree, which is not shown here. The radio button script header shows the non-consecutive MIDI note numbers for the 17 key switches. All transmit on MIDI channel 1 and there is the by now familiar edit of the articulation name array. Don't forget to add the additional element in the label object reference list. This time you'll see the key switch recording process in Cubase. In this scenario I first select the guitar playing techniques on the left followed by the set of sound effects in the upper keyboard range. Again, there is both short and long radio button pressing. The MIDI recording confirms correct functionality. I hope that the design approach to the articulation key switch selector in Hexler Touch OSC is clear. I decided to develop a generic controller template with 16 radio button steps and set of scripts. This setup requires very limited effort to edit and adapt for specific sample libraries and virtual instruments, as I've demonstrated for three examples. You saw key switch recording in two DAWs. The generic articulation key switch selector file is available for my patrons. Overall, I am pleased with the Touch OSC editor and debugging tools. Updates are released roughly every three months with increased functionality. I hope that the manual will receive attention soon with more and detailed examples. If you found this video useful, please push the like button and subscribe to the channel. Support tutorial production by using the PayPal link in the description for a one-time donation. Visit the website for more content and purchasing ebooks. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Till then.